Adam here with the Walzer Automotive Group. What I want to do today is take you on a test drive. So next to me here, I have a 2025 Nissan Sentra. So we'll look at the trim level specifics, the interior, the exterior, then go for a spin around, see what it's like out on the road. Okay, so now we're behind the wheel of the 25 Nissan Sentra, and this is the SV trim. So there's going to be the S, the SV, and the SR. There's a few different packages you can add into some of the trims, so we'll cover that a little bit more when we're on the go. But for now, let's put it in drive, go for a spin around. Now, the 25 Nissan Sentra is going to be powered by a 2-liter 4-cylinder. That's going to give you just shy of 150 horsepower, but the impressive thing is the fuel economy. So in the city, we're looking at 30 mpg, and then on the highway, you're looking at 40 miles to the gallon. So that's pretty awesome fuel economy out of this smaller sedan. Now, what I like about the Sentra on the exterior styling, it does come in some pretty cool colors. This one's actually a special color, which is Atlantic Gray Metallic. And with the kind of black and silver 16 inch wheels, it does look really good. And I think they did a great job with the design language on this vehicle. Now, up front, you get that V-Motion grille, which is kind of Nissan's design language through some of their vehicles. So it really does just kind of look like a shrunk down version of the Altima now. And there is still quite a bit of room inside. So one of the best things about this vehicle is these zero gravity seats. So Nissan, to me, has always had some of the most comfortable seats, and these are actually cloth. And with the all-weather package that this one has, they are going to be heated seats for the driver and the passenger. Now, what else is cool with that package? You get a leather-wrapped heated steering wheel, and the exterior mirrors are going to be heated for those Minnesota winters. Now, back to the ride and drive of the vehicle. I think 150 horsepower isn't a lot but you know what most of the time you're not flooring this vehicle maybe jumping on and off of some on ramps it can maybe do with a little bit more power but i think for the most part like i said 95 percent of the time if you're just cruising around town running to work picking up the kids i think i would rather have the trade-off for 40 miles per gallon than have another 100 horsepower and you know the ride and drive is very compliant on the roads it's kind of road construction season sort of heading into late fall here in minnesota and it's a pretty quiet and smooth and comfortable ride. So this one does have the 16 inch wheels so that you can get the 17s if you go with a different package on the SV or up to an 18 inch wheel on the SR. And I think I like the ride quality of the 16 inch wheel. It gives you a little bit more sidewall on the tire and just kind of smooths it out a little bit more over some of these rougher roads. Now with the SV, you can add the premium package. So that would give you a ton of equipment. You can actually do a leather appointed seat in here. That would change some of the exterior styling and a few other kind of added features. But I think for the price point on this standard SV with the all other package, you're looking at just around that $25,000 price point. So when you look at the average new car price in the U.S. at over $48,000 now, you're getting a ton of equipment here. This one actually has an 8-inch color touchscreen, and I've got my phone plugged in down here. That's going to give me Apple CarPlay as well. You can do Android Auto. There's a backup camera in here that's very easy to see, and you actually get parking sensors out the rear of the vehicle. So if you're getting close to something, it will give you a little notice in the digital gauge cluster here. So what else is cool with that digital cluster? It keeps track of kind of all your pertinent information information, your fuel economy, some of your radio stuff, tire pressure monitoring, and it will actually show you some of your safety features. So this is going to have forward collision, lane departure warning. It's got blind spot monitoring off to the side here. So if you can't quite see what's going on around you, that can certainly help you out in a pinch. Plus the adaptive cruise control. So if I'm cruising along, I can set three, two, or one car length distance ahead of me. That's going to keep that distance on the road, makes it very easy to kind of eat up a lot of miles and be safe and comfortable when you're on the go. Now, the back seat room, there is a USB charger back there, but what's cool is I'm six foot one and I actually had headroom back there. You figured for one of these smaller sedans, you're not gonna have any space or room and it's gonna be really tight, but I found it to be kind of the opposite. I actually had to move the front seat up a little bit for where I would drive comfortably, which was very surprising. And then the trunk space is massive. For this little car, you think you'd pop the trunk and maybe get one duffel bag back there, but you could easily put all your groceries back there, duffel bags, probably a couple sets of golf clubs even. And if you need it, the rear seats do fold down if you need that little extra space. But I think for the most part, like I said, 95% of the time, great fuel economy, tons of storage and space in here, and a nice, quiet and comfortable ride. 
So one of the other things on the interior here, I like the design language inside. It feels like a very premium cabin. These three vents on the center dash here, this one also has that dual zone climate control. It makes it really easy to just click auto when you get in the car, you're not messing with anything. And what else is cool, this actually has a remote start as part of that all weather package. So you can fire it up, I think it runs for about 10 minutes and it'll be nice and toasty when you hop in. So there is certainly more equipment that you can kind of add to these Sentras. If you want the sunroof, like I said, the leather appointed seats, or if you want some more of that kind of modern equipment and technology, you can certainly add that stuff into the vehicle, or you can drop down to the S, which would be the base trim level, and you can keep that price down, but you're still gonna get the awesome fuel economy and most of the good equipment that would get you through day to day. But that's where I think the SV might be the one to look at. The Apple CarPlay, the 40 miles per gallon, the comfortable heated seats in here and heated steering wheel. Once you have that feature, it is almost impossible to give it back up. And you know, it, you gotta think, like I said, 95% of the time, if you're just running back and forth to work, I, I mean, a lot of people think they need a big crossover SUV nowadays, but to give up maybe only at 25 to 30 miles per gallon when this is gonna give you 40 on the highway, still feel very spacious, still have a lot of room inside. I think if you're in the market for, like I said, a crossover SUV, if you're shopping other sedans, looking for something that keeps the price low, even competing in this market. If you're looking at the Prius or maybe some of those other smaller sedans, those start around $30,000. So this seems like a bargain at 25 grand with all this great equipment. I think you gotta get out, take one for a spin, see what you think. Now that was just a quick look and drive at the 25 Nissan Sentra. Now if you have any other questions or you'd like to schedule a test drive for yourself, you can visit us online at walzer.com or stop by anytime, we'd be more than happy to help. Thanks again for watching.